This is Fuzzy Wingman, and today I am um, not necessarily playing with new models. They might have some of these models I might not have used yet, um, <clears throat> but they're they've been painted for a while. Um, just thought it'd be really cool to get some more of the melee Necrons versus some melee Space Marines, or you know, Terminators with hammers versus some Necrons doing their Necron things. Yeah, looks fun. Um, <clears throat> so I thought might as well try out some of the stuffs, get a very melee focused battle going, um, and hey, play the Space Marines mission, which has one objective in the center. Funny enough, it's like, oh, you're playing at night, so you can't target models that are um, more than 12 inches away. Well, that doesn't matter now. It's not really... Well, there's one person with a gun, but most people's guns are pistols, which don't go beyond 12 anyway. So, Space Marines are... Because it's a Space Marine mission, they already have the greatest strategic advantage. So, they can choose their deployment zone. I guess they'll consider... Well, let's see here. <clears throat> They're actually going to choose this side as a deployment zone, so Necrons have over here, and Necrons can deploy first. So let's start looking at some of the Necrons models and deciding who wants to do what. Yeah, the war scythe is going to hit the hardest. He doesn't necessarily want to deploy first because he will get chewed up. Well, this guy has fly. The two of them have fly. And their distance is what, like 10 inches? Yeah, so they have 10 inches. So they can be kind of camped down the back. But we could have someone kind of closer up to the front. Shield up on his way towards the objective. Alright, since so they actually have someone who's shooting, he's gonna be. He's gonna be about there. Um, he can be there. He can walk up a little bit. Right now, he's at least got a view of this tree, he doesn't block too much. Oh yeah, I brought in some trees that I found in my um, bit spin. Like they weren't, e they were still in the sprues in the bit spin. So I was like, all right, put them together and glue them. Yay! Um, they're from like third edition. Okay, not like they are from third edition. I got a third edition box a lot during third edition. So, <laughs> yep, I still have some of those Space Marines around too. So. Now, continuing deployment, because, yeah. <clears throat> Can reminisce later. Right, that guy's a specialist. The non-specialist of Necron's team is the one who's just smaller. You know? That, that's how you know he's a specialist. He's just hunkered down tinier. But like the sergeant over here. <clears throat> he doesn't need to get up in melee yet. And this one. Kind of over here. <clears throat> it needs to take its time in getting there. Might as well get those hammers as far up as possible. This guy's their leader, but he'd be about here. I mean, ten inch movement still puts him pretty close to the objective. Get my hammer as close as possible, and this guy will be just kind of back here. All right, let's clear off. 
markers. So I don't need them anymore. And that's the objective, so we'll leave it there. Since I don't have sweet, sweet. I have a good objective marker. But I, I'm gonna probably get more in the future. So yeah, that's deployment. Round one. Uh, both teams are at two command points. No one put any models into reserves. Didn't really need need to. Um, some things might get a bit beat up today because Necrons are using real metal dice because why not? So this will probably be no noisy whenever I roll. All right, so Space Marines have the objective, uh, the initiative. Um, if you, and actually I'll put it like this, since that way you can kind of recognize it. And you know, if I have the other team, it's Necron, so. Um, I'll put it on the subject. There, I don't think anyone's getting on top of that. There we go. <clears throat> That's who has the initiative. Nice initiative coin. So, <clears throat> they don't exactly like that because, you know. Well, he's got a lot of shooting. He might be, actually, he's probably still going to walk up. It's not like he has to worry about them shooting first and he can get some more things. <clears throat> Terminators are f five inches. Yes, yes. They're probably just going to advance. It's not like they have to actually worry about... They can't make declare charges, so they have to do this. Okay, 11 inches. It's under the tree. And then he'll just kind of be there. Now this guy advancing. Wow, they're making great advancement rolls. It goes six there. So he has five left. So it's about there. <clears throat> and he can go five inches and puts him right there, actually, which gives him a nice coverage of everything. can go about there. He will stay about there for now. He doesn't need to jump into the fray just yet. And this Necron is going to declare a charge on him. He advanced, so there's nothing he can do. He can't react. Five inches, huh? It's head to head. Alright, he's within one inch. It's classified successful charge. This uh, guy is declaring a charge on him. Let's see if I can get more than four or five on these dice. Oh, there we go. Now we got a good roll. He's going about there. He's beyond one inch here because he has to be since he didn't. To clear that charge. Pretty sure. It's really hard to freaking see this. Oh yeah. I think. Actually he might still. He might just be at the one inch. So he's going to. Scooch a little bit that way. To avoid that. He's declaring a charge on this guy as well. <clears throat> Oof, that's a nice roll. So he can squeeze in here without being one inch from this guy.
And this guy is gonna fly over there. Yeah, and these guys fly. They're still hidden. But they can get it where they can jump into the center easily. <clears throat> They're getting it where they might be able to at least take some shots at that guy next turn. Shooting phase. No one to shoot at. <laughs> Charge phased. It's all the Necrons. Let's... Well, hammers don't even get to go until, you know... Last. We're gonna first start with this guy. He is... Combat, combat specialist. So, he's got three attacks base now because of his. He's the combat specialist. He's gonna hit on threes. Oh! What dynasty are they? That's important. Since I probably won't be taking the one where the, they're better at shooting because. Oh, yes. I remembered. I was going to do Awakened by Murder. You can reroll failed hit rolls in the fight phase for attacks made by model if it charged, was charged, or made a pile-in move granted by the heroic invention. So basically, if it just entered combat. Like this guy right now. So, threes to hit, rerolls, ones, and twos. He doesn't even frickin' need to. <clears throat> Plus one to strength makes him strength six. So threes to wound. All three wound. AP minus three, but he's got storm shield. So three up and bull. Um, failed one. He'll take it. No need to re-roll it. No, no, no need to re-roll it. Um, spend a command point to re-roll that. Because he just takes a wound. And he's got one wound remaining. So that means he still gets the hammer time back. No, with no problem. Alright. <clears throat> this guy's going to try to file in. He can't really, so it's about the best he could do, but he's still within one inch. Well, he's a non-specialist. And he's got two attacks. But threes to hit, reroll ones and twos because of them. their dynasty. Still two hits. Still going to be strength six, so still threes to wound. Two wounds, two three up saves for that Terminator with the Storm Shield. Save them both. And now this guy. He is the Zealot, so he adds one to his strength and attack characteristics when he charges. So he's got three attacks, threes to hit. <clears throat> Hall 3 hit. Um, verifying a Terminator is still just T4, not T5. Yep. So, with his weapon and the plus one from his frenzied, that is plus three. He's normally strength five, sorry, strength eight, so it's twos to wound. Uh, two wounds, he... They're not going to spend a command point to re-roll that, just in case they actually can roll some damage here. Like, I mean, injury rolls. So he's got to take two, two three-up saves. 
Saved them both. If he had failed any of them, it was damage too, so that's why it was cautious. Alright. They survived. Storm Shields did their job. Now some punching back. Well, so Hammer gets to go. Um, he did... He is also for, um, a zealot, but since he didn't do the charging, he doesn't get to add anything to his characteristics. Either way, he is um, threes to hit, two attacks. No, no, fours to hit because he had to subtract one from the hammer. One hit. Strength eight. Versus, I think they're in toughness like five actually yeah all the necrons are strength five so it's only gonna be threes to wound actually either way wound because i'm doing this guy i hit that guy who has a four up invuln from his shield failed it they haven't spent any command points now they'll spend one saved Him time. He's the combat specialist. And since he's a sergeant, usually he has four attacks total. He's going to put two here, two here. Two in this guy, four to hit. One hit, three to wound. Doesn't wound, not gonna re-roll that. Two attacks on this guy, four to hit. One hit, three to wound. Spend a command point to re-roll that one at least. There we go. Got the Thunder Hammer to wound, AP minus three. That Necron does not have an invuln. It now has a 6-up save. Which it makes! Holy hell. So after all that, only he takes a wound. So that's end of turn. There's really no morale to do. No one actually got knocked off of anything. That's... Kind of crazy. So everyone's now at three command points. Round two. Initiative. <laughs> Stays with Space Marine, so boom. Guess heal ready up. Actually, it's going to be about there. <clears throat> he's not going to charge in just yet. And the hammers are going to stay in. Necrons. Well, they want to stay in. You know, fly over here. For some shots. Actually have some shooting going on. And now someone's over there. This is just kind of crazy. Alright. Shooting time. Starting with ready models. So he can just shoot. He might just shoot this guy because he's out in the open for him. Unless the other guy's out in the open too. Nope, the other... This guy's blocked by some tree. This guy is not. And let's see here. Let's look at the deadliness of weapon. Well, this guy's weapon's a little bit more deadly. But that would be... But he has all of his good armor and shit. So he doesn't really care. So he's just going to fire all of his shots right into that guy. <clears throat> um... Six shots. He's a Terminator with an assault cannon. Threes to hit. He's the guy's out in the open. 
four hits. Strength six versus toughness five is still threes to wound. Three wounds. Pretty sure an assault cannon is AP minus one. Let me double check. AP minus one, yes. So three wounds, AP minus one. This guy has a three up save, so three four ups. Failed two of them. Um, not even going to spend a command point to try to re-roll because they can only re-roll one roll. One of those dice. And they would still take a one, one injury roll no matter what. So injury roll from Space Marines. Three. <clears throat> this time they'll spend their command point this phase because, you know, they might get it. There's a 50 chance to knock them out. Hey, they knocked them out. Also, I think there are victory points tied to taking people out. There are victory points tied to that, so Space Marines are at one victory point. <clears throat> Fired. Now, non raid models, starting with Space Marines. Here's a bolt pistol, right? Just some shitty ass bolt pistol. Yeah, it's a crappy bolt pistol, but he can do it. And there goes a truck outside. Um, well, it's just forced to hit because obscured. It's not long range. Actually hits. Strength four versus toughness five. So five's to wound, actually. Failed to wound. Now, this guy has a ranged weapon, so it is 12-inch range. Yeah, this guy is more of a threat, so he will attack that guy. Well, this guy's a sergeant. Does he want to just... Yeah, he's actually going to try to brutalize that guy, so he's going to attack that guy. It is one attack anyway. Um, <clears throat> it is... Forced to hit because obscured. It hits. Strength five versus toughness four, so three to wound. It wounds. It's AP minus three, so he has a six up save from it. Oh, wow, you can see he was like, wee, and then almost had that six, but didn't. All right, spent the command point to reroll this phase. He doesn't, they don't fully care. They wouldn't have. Injury roll. This time the guy is obscured, so it, they need a five or six to take him out of action. But they'll let the injury happen. Injury. So he is fired. Actually, both are fired. Everyone is fired that can fire. We go on to melee, starting with Space Marines. We'll start with this guy, because he's a combat specialist. So he's going to be able to put, again... Two attacks there, two attacks there, so we'll do the two attacks there. Four is to hit. Nothing. Won't bother. Two attacks on this guy with the war scythe. One hit. <clears throat> Three to wound. It wounds. He has a six up save now. He made it again! <clears throat> That's just impressive. Now Necrons, they'll just have this guy go. If I recall, he was the actual um, combat specialist. He was, so he still gets his three attacks. He didn't charge this turn, so no rerolls. Just threes to hit. But all three hit again. Strength six. Versus toughness fours, threes to wound. Two wounds, two three up saves for this guy. Failed them both. There's no way he can spend a command point and help reduce that. This doesn't matter since he was at one wound left, so if they he take loses that wound and goes to an injury roll. And since it's damage one, it's just one die. They'll spend their command point to reroll this one because the Space Marine with the Flesh Wound doesn't really change much. 
they want to at least kill the guy. Which gives them one victory point. And three in consolidation puts him there. And, you know, basically holding the objective. Since I should measure from the center of the objective. And I think, actually, technically only two people hold the center of the objective. I'll need to re-kill re team. I can't remember if it's two inches or three inches from an objective. But it doesn't matter until the end of the battle round, uh, until the end of the game, which is at, like, turn four. So he's he's got to live until then. <clears throat> well, these two haven't fought, so let's just do this guy, who's got base two attacks. So two attacks, three's to hit. One hit. Three to wound. Wounds. One, three up. Save for him. Saved. This guy is now two attacks, threes to hit, one hit. It's only strength seven, so three to wound. Three, he gets his three up in volume. Saved. So that's the melee. Morale phase. Marines are not at half. He can't fail it, so no need to roll on his thing. So both teams... Well, Necrons are at three command points. Space Marines are at four command points. Now, round three. Initiative. Still... Space Marines. <clears throat> and he's going to ready up. <laughs> this guy knows if he charges into this, he will die. There's not much he could do. But, can he hurt the other guy? Will the other guy destroy him? Oh, jeez. These guys have AP minus three weapons. This guy has an AP minus four weapon. With no invul, and he's basically toast. And just with a chance sword, there's not much he can do. He'll ready up and hope he can pistol. And pistol maybe this guy. Well, Necron's turn. He's thinking of doing the smart thing and just declaring a charge on this because he can help kill that Terminator. And then once they kill him, they just swarm everything else. So he's going in. So he can't be shot if he's in melee. Five, yeah. Weep. So he's in. Shooting basically will not happen. And now charged models go first, and well, he's the charged model. So let's just do him. And what was he? He's just the veteran. Okay, doesn't really change much. Either way, he's got two attacks, threes to hit. Because he charged, he gets to reroll ones and twos. Reroll ones and twos. He only reroll one, so one hit. Uh, melee is strength user, which is five, so you know, three to wound. Wounds, AP minus three, so three up in volume. Saved. Hell, it would have saved an armor save too on that. So he's finished, now back to him. He's actually gonna put attacks there and there because these guys don't have in volume saves. So two attacks on that guy. Four is to hit. Two hits this time. Three is to wound. Two wounds this time. Two six up saves. I think this guy's gonna. Yeah, there we go. He's failed them both. It's damage three. So that should take out all of their wounds. I don't think. Yeah, Necron. These Necrons have like two wounds, but damage three will go into an injury roll. He just has to be careful not to roll six. He didn't roll six, so he killed it. 
Two points. Two attacks on this guy. Fours to hit. Two hits. Um, that guy is also T5, so yeah. Threes to wound. Two wounds at AP minus three. So two six up saves for that model. Made two five, so he failed. Three damage, so it goes through. Doesn't want to roll six here. Again, didn't roll that six. Killed it. So three victory points. And the center objective is three victory points. So if Necrons kill him and hold the objective, they still can win. But they will be taking morale check, which, well, if their team breaks, that still hurts them. So now back to these two models. Um, this guy, this guy's got two attacks. Because, yeah, he's not um, the combat specialist, so he's just got his two attacks. Threes to hit, no rerolls because he didn't charge. Um, three to wound. Failed to wound, they'll spend a command point to reroll that. And so now might as well get a wound on him. Wound, AP minus three, so he Three up in he saved. Very well saved. This guy's got three attacks. Threes to hit. All three hit. Threes to wound. Either way, this one was a two or a one. It still failed, missed. So one wound, one three up save for him. Saved it. So they're just there. Morale. Space Marines still don't have anything to care about. Necrons do have to do a break test. Seven, I'm pretty sure they're good. Yeah, and they're, they're leadership ten. So it's very unlikely for them to break, but they could break, which can cause problems. So round four. Oh, yeah, Necrons are now at three command points. Space Marines are at six because, you know, they can actually consider doing something. The one time that um, Necrons roll, like, a nine, you know, a high roll... Space Marines still roll higher. So, Space Marines still have the initiative. We'll check later. If it really is like two inches, then he has it. He's greater than one inch away from him. But he's two inches, so these two are definitely going to be classified as holding an objective and now no matter what space marines have more models than necrons on the objective so the space marines can hold the objective at the end of this and then they're just going to stay there necrons are going to stay obviously so now it's melee time starting with space marines so they have the initiative so two attacks there two attacks there so two, the two attacks on there four is to hit one hit. Does he want to spend a command point to reroll that? Nah. We'll save it for anything else. Three to wound. Wounds. Guy gets a four up in volume. Made it. Two attacks on that guy. Fours to hit. One hit. He's not going to spend their command point. Three to wound. It wounds. One four up in volume. Failed it. They have command points, so they'll spend it. So re roll. Hey, they failed it. Damage three. Goes through. Rolls the dice. He's got a six. He doesn't like that. Spend a command point to re roll that. So it doesn't say you have to, the roll has to fail for them to re roll it on the tactical re roll. There we go. He has the four, which kills it. Four point victory points. Good use of a command point. Just be like, no, stay down. He just puts the hammer on him and just like, no, just, just don't get out. 
All right. Uh, that's that round. Morale phase for Necrons. Still standing. Beep boop beeps. Keep going. Oh, end of turn four. Does the game continue? Yes, it does. Round five. This is getting so sad. Hey, Necrons have the initiative finally. I can flip that for the first time. Necrons are at three command points. Space Marines are at seven. I've never really gone to the point where I'm like this high up. Uh, movement. Um, yeah. Movement. Yeah. Well, no, no. You know what? They're going to go. You're like, there's no questioning it. We have the objective. Melee time. Um, because Space Marines have so many command points, they're spending two to have that, like, first fight thing. I'm forgetting what it's called. Like, but it's the one where you can fight first. Um, Necrons have a lot of command points, and they say, you know what? Screw it. We'll spend the two to cause a roll-off. They've been shitty at roll-offs, but they're hoping they can win this one. They do not. Space Marines win the roll-off. So, he's gonna close that tiny gap. There we go. And now he has... Alright, he, he's got the four attacks, which I've been... Yeah, and he does. I have been doing that right, so he does. And I just realizing now, it's like, whoa, he's actually going to put all four attacks on one target. And it's strange. Four is to hit. Two hits. Three is to wound. Wow. Well, they still have a lot of command points, so I'll spend one to reroll one of those. And it failed. So, it failed. Necron punches back. Two attacks. Three's to hit. One hit. Three to wound. Wounds. Three up in Vulm. Failed it. They've already spent a command point for this phase. Whoa! Uh, damage one. So he, he loses one of his wounds. That, that's a shame for the Necrons. Morale check. Mer Necrons are fine. Space Marines are fine. Yeah, Space Marines, I just realized, that were four models. So they've been at exactly half. But they have to get beyond half. It's more than half for that roll. So, next turn. Does the game end? Yes, it does. Space Marines hold the objective. They go up to seven points. I can't even do it on there. No. There. They won by more than six victory points. That was definitely interesting. Because the Necrons... Um, like, models would have done great against these two. Like, anything that didn't have a, that kind of... Three up in Vuln probably would not have survived as long as it did. Um, it, I mean, these guys were just going at each other and basically not hurting each other that much. So that was kind of interesting. It shows those guys could really survive a lot of melee and really bog each other down. But in the end, those Terminators with hammers really did work. Well, that was interesting. Have a fabulous day, everybody.